hello all so this is my next video uh, to explain how to connect a motor driver in a real time circuit so here i have a small breadboard on which i have connected the l293 motor driver so as i have explained in my previous video uh, the theory of how it works uh, i would request you all who are not aware of it to go back and uh, see my first video about the l293 motor driver which link is just popped up on the top of this video just go back and please uh, watch that video first and then i would come i would request you to come back and watch this video because that video has the more explanation about the working of the motor driver or also you can visit uh, my blog of which the link is available in the description section of this page i mean of this video so uh, here as you can see i'm i have connected a uh, 0.1 microfarad capacitance across my pin number 8 which is nothing but the input operational voltage for the motor so I am planning to give a 9 volts to this pin since I am using the same power supply for my L293 motor driver and also for my microcontroller I am using a 0.1 microfarad capacitance in between to avoid the voltage drops at my microcontroller when the motor starts so I would recommend you to uh, you know, apply a capacitance accordingly as per your circuit. So I am giving a capacitance across my operational voltage for my motor and similarly I have another 1 microfarad capacitance across my enable pin. So as I have explained in my previous video this pin is my enable pin. I mean uh, not the enable pin it's the input operational voltage for my IC and this is my enable pin. So I am basically shorting my enable pin this red cable the small red cable is being connected to the tip the end of the screen cable and the screen cable is again connected to the enable pin so basically i'm shorting these two pins and i am giving a 5 volts here so that the both the pins will get set high and i'm connecting a 1 microfarad capacitance across so that the functioning would be smooth and now next these two pins pin number 4 and 5 are to be grounded so i am connecting uh, i am shorting them and this gray wire basically takes it to the ground so i'll be connecting a negative at this row and a positive here and next is the output and input so pin number three and six will be connected to the motor terminals pin number seven and two will be given with the input states for the motor to rotate in the specific directions so I'll make the setup and we'll show you the working. So now I have made up the connections. I have a bio motor with wheel attached and the two red cables goes to the motor driver output terminals. The cables white color and the blue one are the input cables which has been connected to the microcontroller here with LEDs. Uh, the violet cable forms the ground and the green cable forms the input voltage for the motor which is nothing but the 9 volts and also in between you can see a brown cable which which gives the 5 volts for the enable pin and also for the motor driver IC to work so now here I am using basically a UART communication from this breadboard this pick controller to the other one at the right side and I'll be communicating between these two picks using the these two microcontrollers using the red cable here this one and as per my input based on the switch button the motor direction will be controlled so now communicating between two big microcontrollers I've already explained it in my previous videos you can find it in my uh, channel and also how to interface a mot motor driver with the microcontroller and how to give the input states that's also explained in my previous video so I would request you to go back and watch my previous videos. I also have a video which explains how to connect a pick controller on a breadboard at the first place. So now uh, everything is powered up. So as per my input, the direction of the motor will be changed. So I'll just show you. When I press this, my motor is rotating. And when I press the other one, it rotates in the other direction. So I hope the tutorial is clear. You can find the code for this uh, setup in my blog of which the link is available already in my description. 
tab of this video i hope you all liked it i hope it was clear please get back to me if you have any concerns or doubts or if you need any support thank you thanks a lot for watching please subscribe thanks a lot